What's up, YouTube? Your boy back once again with another sport topic, and today we're going to talk some basketball. Orlando Magic basketball. I know I'm late. I should have been doing this video at least, I should have did it Sunday. Actually, I did record one, but I didn't like the way it sounded. But I'm going to talk about Aaron Gordon signing the extension. Four years, $84 million. It gives him an average of $21 million per year. No opt-out, so he will be part of the team for the next four years. I'm going to talk about and break it down. The pros and the cons. And how this contract is good for both sides. And what we could do moving forward to make this Magic team a playoff team once again. Once again, a contender in the East vying for a finals appearance eventually. So let's talk about this. Okay, off top. And we're going to talk about for the Magic as an organization. Signed to Aaron Gordon. Four years, $84 million. Now some people out there, like myself, who was waiting the whole day uh, Sunday morning about the magic what they gonna do was Aaron Gordon gonna sign especially at midnight or 11 uh eastern time when uh free agency was officially open you know we seen Chris Paul and, and uh um Paul George and other people resign so okay uh, Aaron Gordon need to resign it took a while people were holding their breath like I was but then he actually eventually resigned he sent out a tweet uh Casper Jones might switch up but I but AG staying in Orlando and stuff like that very good and there's some people out there who did not want the Magic to give Aaron Gordon that type of money. Gave him max money. Now, I was thinking that they would probably give him that fifth year, but they only gave him a four year. And I'm explaining why it's actually a good thing for both sides. For the Magic side, though, in four years, Aaron Gordon's 22 right now, so he'll be 26 at the end of this contract. You will know if Aaron Gordon is that guy. You will know that if Aaron Gordon is that is is he because not right at that time he doesn't need to be a potential he has to be all star he needs to be getting uh, accolades first team second team all NBA first second team all defense NBA defense he needs to be going to all star games he needs to be the guy he needs to improve on his uh, point total and his stat lines from getting uh, out of this past season's best stat line averaging. 17.6 points a game, 7.9 uh, 7.9 rebounds, 2.3 assists. That's his best uh um his best average game. Uh um one steal a game. Uh uh 0.8 blocks a game. 1.8 turnover a game. Field goal percentage 43%. Three point percentage 33.6%. Yeah, he has to improve on those things. Can he get to the 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 type of game? Can he become a scorer? Can he get from a 7.8? So can he get 8, 9, 10 rebounds average game? Can he get that assist total up to maybe possibly 4 or 5? Can he keep that steal total? Get the steal total up? Get that block total? Blocks is kind of hard. Um, and the rebounds going to be hard, especially with those two tall guys. You got the eventual uh, twin towers he has in Obama and Isaac. Rebounds and blocks are going to be hard for him to get because they're going to be eating up there. It's going to be hard for teams to out-rebound the magic, period. Turnovers, you got to trim that down. Can you improve in his field goal percentage and his three-point shot? Things that he's been working on. You see the growth in it. Can he continue to grow? Will he be that superstar? Is he that superstar? Four years is a, is a that will give you an eight-year sample size altogether. You will know exactly what you have in Aaron Gordon. You would know exactly who he is. And people out there who didn't want us to sign him, one, you got to look at Vic. You let go of Vic, and Vic is the uh, um, most improved player, an uh, all-star. Him and Sabonis led Indiana to playoffs. That Both of them were drafted by the Magic. Both of them, now Sabonis never played in the Magic jersey, but he was dra traded on draft night. Both of them should be in Orlando right now, paired up with Aaron Gordon. So if they could have took Indiana to the playoffs, with that same core, they could have took this Magic team to the playoffs this year. I'm just saying. So, you don't want to lose the opportunity again that maybe Aaron Gordon is a guy. Aaron Gordon, actually, in his in his short tenure in, in Orlando, has showed you slightly more than um, Vic did show you in Orlando. Now, part of the reason was because they mismanaged Vic. They were using Vic improperly, which they were doing at the beginning of Gordon's career. But they were using Vic improperly, had him playing point, had him playing uh, shooting guard. Take him, have him come off the bench, just doing all kind of all kind of crazy stuff under Scott Skiles. So hopefully that Steve Clifford can help with Frank Vogel start to lead into the direction of helping Aaron Gordon mature and be a better player on the court. Now from Aaron Gordon's side, why is a good job? Why is it is why this was a good deal for Aaron Gordon? Like I said, he's 22 right now. He'll be 26 at the end of his career. I mean, at the end of the uh, contract. If he holds up his end of the bargain. And gets those type of accolades. 
gets a, a gun. Maybe I don't know if he'll be in, in, in the run to get most improved player if he it continues to improve next year. Be a most improved player. First team, first, second team on NBA. Um, all-star appearances. I don't know what all the qualifications are, but he'll be 26. He'll be in the middle of his prime. Be He'll be just entering his prime. Will he be in line to get a Supermax? That's something he should be striving for. Also, will, if he holds up his end of the bargain, does the Magic hold up there in the bottom? Do they put a team around him? Do they put a team around him that he could actually win with? That he can go to the finals, go to the Eastern Conference finals, go to the playoffs, he be a, a, a pretender Playoff team year after year after year. Be in the Eastern Conference Finals. Be be an actual contender in the actual East. With one it's East. LeBron's not here no more, so you take the Cavs out of it. Now you just have Boston in the you have Boston and you have Philly. Other than that, the what the rest of the East is wide open. Will you be able to be in that mix? I mean, a right, four a four year contract. That means if, and when he's entering that fourth year, uh, the last year of the contract, Mobamba will be entering his fourth year in the league. Isaac will be entering his fifth year in the league. We will have the growth of those two as well. And those because those three, with Isaac and, and Mo Bama being your last two first pick six overall, and also Gordon, you giving Gordon this money, those three, as of right now as it stands, I'm explaining why I say it right now as it stands, are your core pieces. Those are your three core pieces. Those are your three main players. Those are your core pieces that you have to build the team around. And right now, because you're paying, because uh, you're paying Gordon. Gordon is the guy that you're saying right now. Hey, we're you, we're building around you. We got these two tall ass trees right here to help get these rebounds, help get these blocks, help um help in the post. We need you to be our man. That, that, that's what it's saying right now. Will the team around? Will the Magic general manager be able to make a team around him better for him to want to stay? Four year, um, uh, extra four years. If he feels that the Magic are not the team for him, if he's doing, if he's holding up his end of the bargain and being that guy. But the team around him is not the, the the team and the organization is not doing what they need to do. Then he doesn't have. It's not like he got he signed himself to a five year deal and that, that he's stuck here for five years. He's able to dip after that fourth year, which would normally be an opt out. He's able to dip. So, in saying that, what can the Magic do to improve their team? Now we know right now that the biggest need is scoring and point guard. That's their biggest need. They need somebody to score, facilitate. And they, they need a point guard. That's probably their biggest whole position-wise right now is a point guard. Now, we've heard all type of names out there. Um, the one that's most notably right now is Isaiah Thomas. I'm going to be honest with you. As of right now, I'm not. As, if we get him, we get him. I'm not huge on, hey, let's go get uh, Isaiah Thomas. Because the way I feel about Isaiah Thomas is that he helps you probably this year. But he doesn't help you going forward. Now, now, is he better than DJ Augustine? Absolutely. Would I rather have him than have DJ Augustine? Absolutely. But I don't think he helps you long term. And the way this team is constructed, I'm not saying it's a rebuild, which it kind of is, but these guys are young and youthful. You got Gordon is 22. You got Mobamba is 20. Isaac is either 20 or 21. I'm not exactly what his age is. But you got these guys. These guys are young. Like, Gordon is two years older. Just He's only two years older. Then Obama has already been in the league four years. So what uh, these got the, the basis the team is youth, and I don't want um, Isaiah Thomas. Did you get Isaiah Thomas and you're a good team? But Isaiah Thomas only helps you for a year, and you took yourself out of getting a potential point guard next year if you were able to get a lottery pick. You take yourself out of that situation, and now you can't get all. Uh, now you're gonna have to. Try to find other ways, maybe try to recruit a, a recruit some type of point guard or make other deals and trades, which I do think because of the guys that we got, that they're going to try to make a deal with Nukovic. They're going to have to move him and hopefully move him for a point guard. Now, one of the talks that was talked about, I'm a, speaking of talks, I'm with you back. Some of the talks last year, I mean last week, was a, a potential trade with Charlotte for, uh, for Kimber Walker. Now, the talks have died down, so I don't know. Now I'm hearing the Lakers are trying to move for Kimber Walker as well. But that's one of the, that's one of the scenarios I heard. I would prefer that scenario. I think Kimber Walker's a better player than Isaiah Thomas. I will prefer that. I will prefer that deal to go down than for us to get Kimber Walker. I think then your core is Kimber Walker, Isaiah, uh, it's, it's, uh, Kendall Walker, Aaron Gordon, Jonathan Isaac, and Mobamba. Those are your players. And this is, like I just said, this team is a playoff team. This team is a playoff team. And if you have Boston, Philly, one and two, 
three to eight is completely wide open. You can definitely be in the mix with those players because everybody else is everybody else is everybody else on this team is tradable outside of Gordon. Isaac and Mobamba because you just drafted Mobamba and Isaac and Gordon you just gave 84 million to those those three are your main guys I want I wish we could have kept Mario but hey Mario wanted to be a Nick so hey it is what it is I, I if you don't want to stay I ain't trying to keep you I like uh, Jonathan Simmons but if we have to move him hey like I say um I prefer to move the person I want to move is, is bitch man because I want to get that contract up off us but your strongest moving piece more than likely is Nukovic and probably Evan Fournier now like I said, those talks died down. Last week, late Thursday, early Friday, there was a talk. It was a rumor. There was a three. It was a three-team deal being worked out between the Magic, the Lakers, and the Spurs for the Lakers to get Kawhi from the Spurs, the Spurs to get Nukovic and Ross. And I'm thinking also the Lakers would give up uh, um, Kyle Kuzma to uh, to the Spurs and. The Magic would acquire Alonzo Ball. Now, after this report, the well, the, the news broke about Alonzo having the meniscus issue, and he got it's not it's not a tear. He don't have to have surgery. He's gonna take a shot. He'll be ready by the season. And or and the Lakers feel the Lakers feel that this was leaked from Alonzo's camp because the fear of Alonzo getting traded and Alonzo want to take it because you know once you hurt. You off the trade blocks. One team's don't want to trade for you because they afraid. Oh, he heard. We don't know what we're getting, and the NBA takes him off the trade block. So people feel in the Lakers organization that that's the reason why that that why that news broke because the Lakers didn't leak the information. It had to be leaked from Lonzo and his people to take out the trade talks because they don't want. LeVar doesn't want to leave LA. This is before they even got LeBron. LeVar does not want his boys to leave LA. He wants his boys to be in LA because he's from Geno Hills. He wants to be in the like he wants to be like Alonzo wants to be like Alonzo don't want to leave LA. So they they I, I agree with them that I think they dropped their news specifically so he wouldn't get moved. Now, how I would feel about Lonzo. Like I said, we do need scoring. But Lonzo can Lonzo does have a good gift of facilitating. I would actually prefer Lonzo over Isaiah Thomas, even though Lonzo has his funky shoot motion. And people, I, I, I know some people are saying that that's just, we could just kept uh, Peyton. He's a way better facilitator than Peyton. I think that his his facilitating skills would definitely help out both uh, um, Gordon, Bamba, and Isaac. That's one of the reasons why I wanted Trey Young, not because of Trey Young shooting, sh uh, shooting, and I know he's struggling right now in summer league. But I think his biggest asset. And like and, and with a team like that, he probably will struggle because he de he has to score on that team. He wouldn't have to score in Orlando because I felt that he could have made both uh, Isaac and Gordon better by facilitating them the ball. Isaac, him, um, Fournier, he could mo make them better by facilitating the ball. He doesn't have that way in in Atlanta. Atlanta, he's it's going to be all on him. He got scope. Lonzo, same thing. He wouldn't have to score. He can facilitate, and then here he can facilitate to Mobamba. He can facilitate mostly to Gordon and also to Isaac. So I would like that core. He can play a little defense. I have a question about his defense, but he can play better defense than than uh, than um than um Trey Young could. I would prefer the Kimba Walker deal, but like I said that deal obviously the talks just went cold, and this Lonzo deal went cold because of the injury. Now, because of that. There has been some small little rumblings because, especially now that, that LeBron has gone to LA, the Lakers off top did not want to trade Kawhi to, uh, to LA. One, because the Spurs organization hates LA. Two, they don't want to, they don't want to, like, teams rarely want to give the player what they want. When, when players, well, that's the reason why, that's the reason why Dwight did not go to Brooklyn. That's the reason why, I, I, that's the reason why Paul George didn't go to LA. Teams don't want to give the player that when the player is demanding, they don't want to give the player what they want. One, they want to take the best deal, and two, they want to really give the player they want. Same thing with Kyrie. Kyrie didn't want to go to Boston. Kyrie, I think choices was was the Knicks. Uh, I think the Timberwolves too. I I, I um the Spurs. He didn't. I, I Boston wasn't up there. They they want to take the best deal, and they don't want to give the player what they want. And they also Lakers all I mean uh, the Spurs also don't want to give Kawhi to a Western Conference team. Now, the, like I said, the rumbles was because they were willing to take Terrence Ross 
and Nukovic, could the Magic add some other things, maybe some picks, whatever the case may be, to just qua- just to get and acquire Kawhi? If the Magic do that, I will be okay with them uh, um, signing Isaiah Thomas, because then your core would be your, your, uh, your core would be Isaiah Thomas, Kawhi Leonard, Jonathan Isaac, Aaron Gordon, and Mobamba in this East. Not only will you be a top seed in the East, you would definitely be a contender for the Eastern Conference Championship. You would definitely be a contender to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals and make it to the NBA Finals in the East with that type of core. Because when healthy, most people, a lot of people think that Kawhi Leonard is the second best player in the league. I think he's top five. I don't think he's the second best player in the league. But he feels himself that he's a two-way player. And one, L.A. is his main choice because he's from California. He wants to go to L.A. But also in saying that, he also stated that he doesn't want to be part of a super team. So, he, of course, he wants to be in L.A., but the clip is on the table because he kind of doesn't want to team up with LeBron because he doesn't want to be on the super team. That's one of the reasons why he don't. he's not really feeling Boston. He's not really feeling Philly because if he goes to those teams, he's on definitely quote-unquote super teams. When you got Boston without their two best players make it to the Eastern Conference Finals and get in the seventh game, you add Kawhi. You had Kyrie because probably in that deal you would give up uh, Gordon Hayward and also Boston has a lot of picks. So you would have Gordon Hayward. I mean, uh, you would have Kyrie, Kawhi, Jason Tatum. Um, um, uh, I forgot the rest of the other guy. Uh, 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 Boston, especially with that, with that coach, Boston would definitely be a super team in the East. And then with Philly, you have Ben Simmons, who I definitely believe, I believe Ben Simmons is the truth. I'm just saying right now, Ben Simmons is one of my favorite players right now in the NBA. Ben Simmons is that dude. And then you also have Joel Embiid. Mixed in with Kawhi Leonard, those are super teams. In Orlando, definitely Kawhi Leonard, even though we just gave A four million to Jonathan, uh, we just gave A four million to Aaron Gordon. Definitely Kawhi is the man here in Orlando. It's not considered a super team. It's young talent that people don't really know about because they don't know about Isaac. They don't know about Obama. He's a rookie. We just gave $84 million. And some people have questioned us giving the $84 million to Aaron Gordon. But you add Jonathan Isaac. Like I said, Isaiah Thomas has a name. But it, Isaiah Thomas is more so of a name than actually talented because you've seen last year in Cleveland and L.A., he's not the same Isaiah Thomas that was in Boston. But if you can get some of that same, if you get some of that luster like it was in Boston, now you're cooking with grease. And I know people, he ain't going to stay. Like he said, he ain't all about being on the super team. And if you win with him, it's like the Paul George. And the Paul George didn't even win. Paul George, like Paul George got knocked out the first round. But when you have his rights, you may be able to offer him the fifth year for the max. You may be able to offer him the fifth year for the max. I know he's giving up the super max in, in San Antonio, but he doesn't trust the organization. It's not him and Pop. He don't trust the organization. So you, you be able, he'd be an organization that he could feel he could trust. If they can prove to him they can trust him. And they can win. You can offer him the fifth deal. If he's if he makes it to the Eastern Conference Finals or let alone the NBA Finals, even if they lose to Golden State. And you can offer him that extra fifth year, plus Orlando's a tax-free state income tax. In LA, you got to pay state income tax. And also, living in California, California, the cost of living is higher than any state in the whole in the United States. So the money in California is not the same money that it is in Florida. You, It's a lot more you can sell him. And it'll be his team. He had the young collection of talent with the 22, the 20, and the uh, 21-year-old uh, uh, Gordon, Isaac, and, uh, and Mo Bamba. He had them big, tall trees right there. So defense would be easy for him because he wouldn't have to do all the rebounding because you got people going to rebound and block shots with them three right there. Now you can do something. And I think you could convince him to stay, especially if you win. And then even if you don't, I think that taste, that level of winning, that level of winning, I think he could bring would light a fire up under Aaron Gordon to light a spark on Aaron Gordon. Like I like this, I like how this feels. I like how this is. I could tell already by watching some of the stuff that he's been saying that he wants to win. And also some of the stuff that he was talking about. He said when it comes with winning, my teammates. He said especially me. He said when when I start getting accolades, my teammates get accolades. 
He said, you get Jonathan Nas a defensive player of the year. He's already put that out there. Him, and, He said him and Mo Bamba, defensive player of the year. When he started making all-star appearances. Like he said that when he gets accolades, his teammates don't get to. So you could tell that he's on board. And if you could bring a player like or you bring a player like Kawhi, even if it's for a one-year rental, which I, I think that with this with the way this team is built and what you can do going forward, I think you could convince him like they convinced Paul George got there, especially if you went if you make it to the conference finals, at least. You could definitely make I mean if you gave a convince Paul George to stay in Oklahoma City with West with Westbrook and got knocked out the first round, if Orlando makes it to the finals or at least the Eastern Conference Finals with non ball hogs and this and then this would be Kawhi's team. How, what, are we able to offer that fifth year? No money? And a non-state income tax? I think you could do the job. I got a video I'm going to talk about specifically about Isaac and Gordon. I'm gonna, I mean, not Isaac and Gordon. Isaac and Mobamba because I want to break down the Mobamba pick. A lot of people think I hate the Mobamba pick. I just think the Magic just were put in a bad situation because they weren't able to get Trey Young. And as it looks right now, they yeah, look like they dodged the bullet. But it's just Summer League. And like I said, he he's play, he's it would play differently in Orlando. I feel because he wouldn't have the scoring wouldn't be all on him. He would be able to facilitate more, and that would help him instead of being in Atlanta, which I think the scoring is all on him. Even in the summer league, the scoring is all on him because he he would have Isaac and him with summer league. So you were seeing that type of growth between them two. But like, subscribe if you haven't. Comment below if you haven't. Click that bell. Get more videos. I holler.